So I've just stopped off at, I don't know what this place is, I think it's called Toddington Services. Um, on my way down to Rye House for my first karting commentary of the year. First commentary in the UK this year actually, considering I started off in France with the Clio Cup. Um, it's just a bit of an update really. Um, I'm just stopping off on my way there. I didn't even start the video with anything extravagant, so here we are. Um, the BM has continued to impress me. I started with about three quarters of a tank. I've driven about 120, no, maybe 130 miles. Started and it said I had 390 miles of fuel left. Now I've got 405, so shows you how good this thing is on a motorway, but it's that comfy I've sort of like seized into place. Like I'm keeping my, my leg bent because it's absolutely killing the ankle just staying on the throttle. I think I was uh, spoiled a bit rotten by my last old BM having, uh, having cruise control, but I'll be updating as we go through the day, doing a bit of filming at Rye House. But um, yeah, first commentary gig of the weekend. We're doing Daytona Milton Keynes tomorrow. I'm staying in Milton Keynes tonight as well. So hopefully I've got enough memory on this GoPro. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. I thought potentially I could lose a bit of weight this year, do a lot of walking around. But when services have got Burger Kings, there's not really much you can do, is there? <laughs> so about half an hour out from Rye House, arriving a lot later than planned, in fairness. It was a quick stop off at Burger King, but yeah, that was only about five minutes after onto the journey. It was in and out quite quickly. But honestly, the problem has been all the average speed zones all the way down. There's been so many where it's just 50 or 60 for mile after mile. You know, I'd prefer to be sitting at 70. But no, clearly not. Well, we've got 33 minutes till we get there according to the electric map. It's very busy on the roads as well. The motorway is absolutely full, so can't really make any progress anywhere. Which is mucho annoying. Well, the weather's looking all right. There's a lot of cloud about. I don't know what that means. But I think we should be in for a good day, really. The, cloud, the, the, cloud, the clouds in the sky are quite low. Just wondering how variable the weather's going to be. Apparently there's a lot riding on today though, so we'll have to see what drama unfolds as the day goes on, because let's face it, if you're going to commentate on an event, you want one that's got uh, a lot riding on it instead of nothing. My phone thought I was talking to it. You what, bro? There's a couple of guys there that I've uh, commentated on on iRacing and raced with on iRacing as well. Um, Sam Reed is there, who used to race for Club 73, Clinton Bell, back in the day. That was about, flipping out, late 20, no, mid to late 2015, going into 2016, Sam Reed. He's in some of my really old YouTube videos with Ben Palmer at uh, Brands Hatch. It's gonna be good to finally meet some of these people, you know, that's what, wonderful world of sim racing can do you know you get introduced to all these people from all around the world even just all around the country and then you get to meet them at real life events it's uh, it's really quite heartwarming to be honest it's great this is the first time i've actually come to any sort of stop since i left which is quite useful it's still 18 minutes away so it's not been long since i last spoke up we're taking a few minutes off by sitting at 70. Gold BMW M3 over there. D92, all blacked out. Windows and wing and lights and so on. Oh my goodness, I've just spotted what's behind me. Fantastic, it's a Fiat Coupe. Now if anyone knows about the Fiat Coupe, it makes a hell of a noise. It's a five cylinder engine. It looks like, I mean, it doesn't even look like a budget Ferrari, but I believe it was designed, or at least styled, by Pininfarina. I wanted one for so long. I'm not sure whether it's a turbo or not. I can't remember the visual differences, but it's red, and that's what matters. If it's either red or yellow, then it's cool. There he goes. They're so cool. They just need bigger wheels. I mean, the arches have got these very weird, like, strike-like things down them. It's just... It's a very odd looking but lovable car. It just, if it had bigger wheels, it'd be 
grey. I mean, from here it looks absolutely awful because the wheels are about as thin as my thumb. If it just sat a bit more fat and planted, it'd be awesome. Still pretty cool anyway. Uh, <laughs> this entrance is one of the dodgiest roads I've ever been on. Oh man, although I can see helmets moving around. Here we are. Do I have to tell anyone I'm here or what? Oh, there's a parking space right in front of me as well, that'll do. Sun's out, cart's out. Oh God, my sat nav doesn't like me now. Where we witness the agility of the BMW 318D. As I'm going to hit the railing a bit. May as well rest it on the railing, haven't we? Right then, we're here. Rye House. You can see pretty much the whole circuit from here, that's awesome. For the Rye House Pro Kart series. Let's crack on. Look at this shit. They've even got a dinosaur themed theme park. I might have to bring Harry at some point. But you are very close to the circuit wherever you go here. Look at this. You can see practically the whole thing. The speed they're coming around here at. It's excellent that. Love that. So it turns out this is going to be the office for the day. Not a bad view if you, uh, all things considered, you can see the whole thing. We've got some wonderful trophies down here as well, which are a nice bit of silverware to be alongside. This is like the sort of production-y bit. So I'll have microphones go roaming, I think, but yeah, it looks really good for me. Got a good view of all the circuit. Right down the main straight here. So yeah, should be good. Nice plenty of room to walk around. I tend to walk around when I commentate as well, if I can. So. It works out for me, and uh, we can wipe the windows open as well in a bit if it gets a bit too hot. So you can see the little pit lane as well down there. Cracking stuff. Let's go with it. So I've just had my little brief in there with uh, with Mark. He's a really sound guy. It's very exciting by the look of it. Plenty to think about. We've got two classes. We've got the pro class, or sorry, super class. Apologies, and the clubman class. And there's about 15, 16 carts in the supers, and then about 30 in the clubman so plenty to think about there's the weather which has been a bit sketchy so far but you can see most of the circuit from where i'm up there so it's going to be really really good i've got to go and walk all the way around the other side of the circuit now to go for a wee but it's uh it's lunch break now so they've got an hour and then we've got qualifying when we get back from one so i'm just going to uh crack on with that when we get there and then four hour race and i can go to uh, milton Keynes and get ready for tomorrow This is going on in the lunch break now then they're just having a bit of a corporate car hour and then i've got to get over there to that building to then get back and commentate but i mean the weather's great and this is actually i've only just realized this but it's a dock off electric pylon <laughs> i never even i didn't even notice that this is actually where it was i didn't notice that's where it was Yeah, these things go all right. They look quite good as well. They've got a nice colour scheme on them, but these aren't the carts they're going to be using in the race. So it's an owner-driver race, basically. I'm going to stand here and see what we can see from this corner because it's quite close. There you go. Smashing. Right then, let's go crack on with it, shall we? I've just done my first two hours, two hours. I'm just about to go and jump back in and do my next two. Race is very much still on at the moment. There's been so many position swaps and things going on. And some of the leaders, I think the number one had a really bad hit stop and they dropped down so far down the order. So yeah, it's still all to play for. I think number two's got it in the bag, but 
there's two hours of racing left. You never know what could happen, but yeah, it's good fun so far. So we've just finished the race here, literally just finished about two minutes ago. Uh, I believe I'm going to be going over to interview a few drivers and just have a quick chat with them in just a mo. But I mean, the weather here at the moment is absolutely gorgeous. It's brilliant. So the race has just finished, like I say. Uh, it's been very, very hot on the latter part of the afternoon. So yeah, it's nice scenery to be a part of, to be honest. But yeah, it was a bit of a challenge. That. Commentating on your own. Um, the live stream was just the, the timing screen, effectively, with my commentary over the top. We had two separate microphones. We had this one which did the circuit PA and we had a separate microphone on the desk in there and a bit of a challenge I must say to try and uh, keep that entertaining over four hours but yeah still a very very good race all the same I've really enjoyed myself today so it's time to now obviously just get the afternoon finished off see if I can chat away with interviewing drivers there's a train going over there but yeah time to have a chat with some drivers do some interviews potentially and then I'm going to go and get a fat takeaway I think but yeah I'll uh, give you an update as and when nice one so that's us done here then at Rye House for the day and it's been a long one a four hour race commentating on my own but it's been interesting. You know, I've, uh, I've never even seen a map of Rye House before today. And it was a, a really good race in fairness. You know, there was, there was never a shortage of action at any point. There was always something going on. I'm really pleased to have been able to do it. There's a Stegosaurus there, because they've got Ryassic Park right next door. It's like a dinosaur kids amusement park thing. It's absolutely nuts. But no, it's been really good today thoroughly enjoyed it uh, it's been a, an interesting opportunity because it was a, a last minute one and I mean I don't normally do karting commentary because I just don't find I'm as good at it you know I've not got the experience in a cart I've not worked with carts before so you know yeah you could argue I've done book more I've done cart masters you know cart masters is one of the biggest karting events in the UK but I still don't have that experience of it and the knowledge really so it's not something I normally do but yeah I've enjoyed it really enjoyed it but this weekend is all about karting because tomorrow I'm doing Daytona Milton Keynes so I'm off to go stay in Milton Keynes now just about to drive up there I've got about an hour to get there from Rye House and then hopefully get some good kip get fed and then have a good day tomorrow at uh, Daytona, we'll see. So I'm up, washed, fed, watered, all ready to go. And now begins the drive to Daytona Milton Keynes. Sun's out as well, so it's looking like a wonderful day. It's very hot in the car because the sun's been out all morning and the car's been parked in the sun. But it's the small things, isn't it? Yesterday has killed my feet. I tried to stay sat down for as much as I could yesterday, but <laughs> I won't lie, it was very difficult to do so because there was just so much going on. I felt like I needed to be on my feet the whole time just to see what was going on. But it was still a good day. I don't often do karting commentary, so it was something a little bit new for me even still you know I've done a few events now but it was still something different to what I'd normally do um, it's a lot harder to identify who's who in karting as well so I do respect the uh, karting commentators for that because it's not an easy job at all I mean commentary is not easy but when it's karting it can be even more difficult right we're here Right, let's see what this is about then. Look at this place, this is sick. Big tarpaulin. Is it tarpaulin? No, <laughs> that's not the proper word for it, is it? What's it called? Tent, let's just call it a tent, shall we? <laughs> so I've just had the nice surprise that I might be going out in one of the carts. There's a little bit of a, uh, a bit of a track 
sort of recon just so I know what I'm on about. Now, obviously, I've never been here before, so it's going to be a bit of a new experience for it. But yeah, just so I get to know the trek a bit more, they might send me out. It's a maybe at the moment, but yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Something I wasn't expected to do. But it's a great event. I mean, it's, it's a massive circuit. I mean, it's absolutely huge. I had no idea how big the circuit was in comparison to other circuits I've been to. But yeah, it's great. So can't wait. Even if I don't get to go out, it looks like it's going to be a good day for it. So yeah, we'll have to see what happens. In case this doesn't already give it away, I'm about to have a go. Which I really didn't expect to be doing today, but yeah, let's uh, let's get these chubby cheeks out on track, shall we? Boom. Loads of fun. 
So now I've got helmet hair for the day. <laughs> I've got a big tuft on top of my head. What a price to pay though. That was absolutely awesome. Um, I really hope the GoPro worked because when I got it off the helmet, it was quite tilted back by the wind. So maybe I didn't tighten it enough, but yeah, hopefully that looked all right because that was uh, that was pretty exhilarating. That's to learn the track and go for a few laps. So we've got to uh, crack on now and then get ready for the commentary. So I'm just about to meet with the guys, see what the plan is, and then we'll go from there and have a good day. Three hours later. Okay, we're into the final hour of the race now. Just having a quick break from commentating for a sec because it's been pretty full on, if I'm honest with you. But yeah, it's been really good. We've got the uh, the sun is going down a bit here now. Looks all tasty and golden. So it's great in fairness. So yeah, really enjoyed it so far. Just taking a quick break, really, just to film a bit of these lot. Just so much going on. I mean, you can literally just walk right up to the wall like this. Very busy. It's a very, very busy place to be. There's, there's constant traffic everywhere, and I mean the the D Maxes are so so fast in comparison to the STs, which are coming through. It's really, really interesting racing. So everybody's got their work cut out all the way throughout it. A lot of fun. Really enjoying it. So I'm going to jump back up and then get the uh, final hour commentated on and see who we get as our winner. Nice one. Well, that was long. <laughs> that was long. I feel like I've got wind burn. My hands are freezing. My fingers on my left hand are knackered because for so much of that, I was holding the clipboard like upright and just supporting it with the ends of my fingers. My hands are knackered. My feet are killing me. And now I've got to drive home back to uh, back to Cheshire. But that was that was a lot of fun that at Daytona. Really enjoyed that. Great people everywhere. Really good to just be walking around with a roaming mic. I'm talking way too loud right now just because I'm used to sort of shouting through a mask all day. But yeah, it was really good to be sort of roaming with the mic as well. Had a lot of fun and we got some very deserved winners. There was a big, big shunt at the end, um, about 15 minutes from the end, but luckily, luckily the lad was all right, uh, just a bit winded, understandably, but he, he got like thrown out of the car. It was it was a really scary moment, you know, but um, luckily he was okay. You know, he got straight back up, got cracked on with it. He didn't get back in and carry on with the race, I don't think he just stayed out to uh, obviously fit in with precautions and so on. But yeah, it's been a mega day today, so really can't wait to just get back in bed, if I'm honest. I'm just so tired, but yeah, it's been a lot of fun. So we'll get back. Um, I'm not going to film any of the journey on the way back, but what a way to round out a weekend, eh? It's been uh, it's been brilliant. So thanks for watching. If you've watched the whole thing, and I'll uh, see you again. <laughs>